Today's video will be a short and quick one. We're just going to be doing saving and loading of our inventory. What we are going to do is simply, you can see that I have nothing in here. I'm going to go and pick up these two things. I can move them around like so. As you know, I can click I again to turn it down, uh, to close the inventory. Click escape, start the game again, press I, our inventory is still there. That is all we're going to do. It's going to be a fast little video and uh, let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is set up a new game instance. So head over to your content drawer in your inventory. Actually, let's do this in the content drawer itself. Let us make a blueprint, blueprint class, and search for game instance under all classes. Select game instance and then click select. I'm going to call this one new game instance, like so. Open that up, dock it. Before we do anything else, we want to go to Edit, Project Settings, under Maps and Modes, you want to go to the bottom here and select New Game Instance. Close that out. Inside of your Game Instance, you want to do a Event Initialize. Here we want to check if our save game exists. We're going to call it Inventory Save. For now, branch out of the Return node. If it doesn't exist, we need to create a save game object. We haven't created that save game object yet, so let's do that. This one is going inside our inventory though. Right click, create a new folder, call it save game. Right click, blueprint, blueprint class, save game. Under all classes, select that. I'm gonna call this one inventory save. Open it up, and in here, we're gonna create a new variable. We're gonna call this one slots. It's going to be of type inventory slots. Array. Compile, save, and we can close out our inventory save. Back in our game instance, you want to save save game class, you want to select that to your inventory save. The return value you want to promote to a variable, we're going to call this one inventory save game object. Add from the return value again, you want to set slots, and the slots that we're going to set is the game instances slot, so we need to create a variable here as well. We're going to call this one slots as well, same as last one. Inventory slots, change variable type, instance editable and expose and spawn. This needs to be an array, change it again. Plug in your slot into the set slots for the save game. And then after that is done, we're just going to drag out from here again and we're going to save game to slot. You could just use your save game object and put them under here and then use status stories, but copy paste your slot name into here and that's it for that. However, if it does exist, we want to load it. So load game from slot. The slot name is our inventory save. After that, we want to cast to our inventory save. After that, let us do a set here just to make sure that we still have it. And then you want to get slots from your save game, the one that you just cast it to. And you want to set our slots, the in, uh, instance slots, to that. What you want to do next is we want to make a new custom event. And we're going to call this one save inventory. It's going to have an input of our slots. It's going to be a type of array. We're going to call this one slots. We're going to do another test here to see if the save game exists. However, this time we only want to do it if uh, if it exists and it is going to exist because this game is going to initialize it at the beginning of our game. We're going to do a branch out of that. Add from true. We want to get our save game object. We want to set slots to our save game object to the slots that's incoming from our event and out from that we want to save game to slot like so slot name being our slot name what we want to do now is actually call the save game exist uh, the save uh, save entry event so open your content drawer we're going to do this one in our first person character however you can do it wherever you want um Actually, we could do it when we close our inventory. So this is where we toggle our inventory. Every time that we toggle it to be hidden, let us call our save game. So I'm going to move my this one out of the way. 
If it's visible, it's going to be set to hidden, and that's when we want to call it. So we're going to cast to game instance. Uh, that is the new game instance. Object being get game instance. And as game instance, you want to type in save inventory. Slots will come from our HUD ref. Get inventory ref. Get slots. Inventory slot contents. And plug that in there. Now, every time that we press I to, to, to toggle our inventory, it should save the slots. However, if we have a game, uh, if we have a save game, and let's just save inventory. If we have a save game and we load up our inventory, we of course want to call that as well. So we're going to do that over in our begin play over here. And that is going to be very simple. We're just going to grab this out here. We're going to cast to our cast to game instance, again being the game instance, again being the new game instance that we just made. Object being get game instance, same as before. And we're going to get the slots that we have saved, and that's going to go into our inventory slots contents, like so. And then we can just move on with our with our previous code. If it doesn't exist, it's just going to it's going to be a a blank one anyway. So we can try this out right now by clicking play. Inventory, we are empty. If I go and pick up these three stones, I'm going to close it out, click it out, click play again. And nothing happens. We haven't set out a slot name here yet. So it does say inventory save game exist. If I click play now, go there, click I, close it out, open it, and we got it back again. We can move this around, click I again to turn it down, and we have it. We can move this over there. It works with any item that we have, and that's it for now. It's a short little video, but hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want more. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.